and welcome back to the Southern Snap, where life is too short to be serious. All right, I changed my position in my car um, just because of where I'm parked. The sun would just be destroying uh, the quality of this video. But finally back at Insomnia Cookies for the first time in a long time. I did an ice cream review when they you know the location were, was out of one of the two special cookies so you know take it as you will that was a review but this is the first time in probably over a year that i've tried their cookies now trust me no i'm not breaking up with you crumble i love you guys and you will always be my favorite cookie company um i always mention crumble because crumble is the standard and insomnia never really comes close but I give them chances. I give them chances every now and then. So we're going to give them a chance. They've probably had about 30 different cookies since. So I've missed out on 30 cookies to review. But anyways, is what it is. Um, we're here to tell you how we're feeling about these winter th flavors. Which you've got a gingerbread cookie. A red velvet with cookies and cream inside of it. You've got a, a deluxe hot cocoa cookie with a marshmallow. And you've got a vegan honey bun. So very intriguing i don't really have the details on this because i did not feel like reading into it but the description will have every little detail on it um but yeah there's the, a terrible look at the cookies there is a good look with a terrible look at me we rather have a terrible look at me and a good look at the cookies right so that is your thumbnail and where do we start well we'll start with the one on top the uh gingerbread and I put these in the fridge last night because that's the only way I can get them is after work. And then I can do it the next day. So we want to make sure the lighting was good. I don't have a home with great lighting yet. Eventually, maybe I'll move somewhere. But uh, that is where, we're all, where we are. Why didn't I review these at my brother's house yesterday? I could have done that. And I didn't think to. So that's on me. But, you know, we're all good. We're going to try them here and now. So again, gingerbread. It's not called gingerbread. But it, that's what it is. It's a gingerbread cookie. Mmm. That's quite good. It's a nice molasses gingerbread cookie. A good burst of gingerbread and molasses. No doubt. Leaves me with no question of what I'm tasting and what I've got. It's very gooey, despite its thin consistency, and doesn't have a lot of a crunch. But there is crunch. The sugar crystals are quite nice too, and they add, you know, a little bit of a crunch. Tiny crunch, not, not, not a big crunch, uh, but a little tiny crunch to it. So, um, a very good cookie. I really do like that. It could use some more oomph, but they, they got everything right there, um, you know, for, for a gingerbread cookie. So I'll give it eight and a half, just because I just, even at its finest, it's not a cookie that absolutely blows me away, you know? So moving on to vegan honey bun. I didn't show the gingerbread off. I'm so sorry. But here's, here's the rest of the gingerbread for you. All right, we're going to try and show this off. And there you go. There you go. All right, so we're going to break off a piece. It looks like caramel chips, but I'm not so sure. Um, it looks like, pretty much it looks like a snickerdoodle cookie with white chips and caramel chips. So we'll have to try it. Hmm. I was going to say that's not bad, but that is actually quite good. That's butterscotch. This is definitely butterscotch I taste. Hmm. It's got such a nice gooey cinnamon um, base. And then I taste butterscotch and white chocolate. very good for a vegan cookie very good um you know i don't like it quite as much as gingerbread but i think it's really good and i would give it an eight out of ten so so far we've had an impressive run-in this is the one i'm really excited about red velvet 
with Oreo pieces and white chocolate chips. So we're gonna break into it and give it a try. Hmm. It doesn't particularly stand out. Like the Oreo pieces are pretty good when when I get them. And this cookie is almost like a hybrid of um, Combo's white chip red velvet and their chocolate cookies and cream. I think it's quite good, but it doesn't quite have that gooey, delicious oomph to it that the other two do have the slight edge on. So I would still give this, I would say a seven. It's It's got good quality to it. When the mixins are there, it really builds a nice cocoa uh, chocolate dynamic there. So, we'll end this off with, and it wasn't so gooey, but this one's quite gooey. This is hot chocolate deluxe. And man, oh man. Oh, you know, that marshmallow is getting shiny in the sun. We, we know where we're going for. We're going for that marshmallow part of it. Oh boy. So hot and so gooey. This one is undoubtedly setting itself up to be the best cookie. Mm. So the outer edges really reflect what you get with hot cocoa. A more dry, cocoa-esque um, cookie. But then you go into the inside and it's really milky, melty, chocolatey. And we're going to have to get a, a few bites on this. Mmm. Mm. And that gooey chocolate really drives home the cocoa flavor. This is definitely the best one of the lineup. It's almost like a, a brownie hot chocolate. I get, get a brownie vibe too. Now I'm full. And I only ate halves of each of these cookies which might be a lot i might be underselling it but man and i did eat a whole marshmallow off that thing mm. crumble's done a frozen hot chocolate cookie i don't remember if they've actually done a hot one but if crumble's watching this which they could be they may not be they gotta do a, a warm hot chocolate cookie I can't remember if I've had it, but they got to do it like that. They got to do it nice, thick, warm, chocolatey with cocoa vibes. So that, that, that'll that drive them home. But I'm going to have to give that a 10. Um, maybe a little bit dry on the edges, but if you just eat it how you're supposed to, quite good, quite good. The melty chocolate center and the marshmallow really drive home quite a good cocoa flavor. So, that is Insomnia Cookies Winter Lineup. And uh, go check it out while it's still in stores. Other than that, I will see y'all around.